Well, we don't do a lot of boondocking. Yeah. That's pretty obvious if you've ever seen <laughs> our channel before. We like our hookups. Yes. But sometimes we don't get the hookups that we want. Sometimes no. we don't get the full 50 amp hookup. Sometimes we huh. only get the 30 amp hookup. Yes. And so when we get that, we have to be pretty careful on our power usage. Yeah. I like to run my stuff. And the most crucial thing, especially if you're in a warm climate or if you're even right now or in Florida in December, okay. we still need to run our air conditioners. Yes. And we prefer to run more than one air conditioner. Yes. Because it gets hot oh, yeah. and humid. So you really need a soft start capacitor on your air conditioning units yeah. because those air conditioners will run below the amperage, but they draw so much power. Those capacitors kick on. draw so much power when they kick on yeah. that they can't, if one's running, the other one can't kick on without flipping the breaker. Right. Which we've so done. You, so you, yeah. So you can't <laughs> run two air conditioners and it's spendy. Yeah, it can be. And it's dangerous <laughs> for guys like me. <laughs> for us, I say for us it is. Not to for do the stuff like that because you have to get up on the roof, you have to figure out where the capacitor is, you have to uninstall the old capacitor, mm -hmm. which even when the power is turned off, the old capacitor can still shock the crap out of you, by the way. <laughs> and, uh, and you have to do all that work. Or yeah. you have to pay somebody to do all that work. Yeah. But which now cheap. it's way simpler. Yeah. We have what you got? the active start plug and play yeah soft start capacitor so this basically will replace the capacitors that you would put in your ac units mm -hmm. it plugs right into your pedestal your 30 amp pedestal or your generator and it it reduces that draw by almost half now is it a surge protector too it's also a surge protector it does all, all kinds of cool stuff okay it will reduce the initial power draw from the air conditioners mm -hmm. you can see there's no wiring required Right. It has this little guy because this is an expensive unit. Yeah. So you want this to be locked up. Yeah. You don't want anybody to steal it. your stuff. Yeah. People steal. Now they will be coming out with a 50 amp version of this. Very soon. Very soon. So yeah. be looking for that too. So the important stuff for us, we want to be able to run two air conditioners, yes. our lights, TV, and our TV. Yeah. Eight, well, and, and occasionally the washer and dryer. Yeah. Every couple days. So this thing has surge protection. Okay. So if there's a big surge, it's not going to blow all your stuff out. Okay, good. Unless it's a lightning strike. This thing will not save you save from a lightning, lightning strike. strike. Gotcha. But just the regular surges that you would normally get in, a, in an in RV camper. park, it'll protect you from that. It'll okay. actually shut down and won't allow that surge to go into your RV. Okay. Um, it has overload protection. So this thing will shut off at 32 amps. <laughs> it won't let that much amperage go in and start messing with your fuses and your breakers. Okay. It has a under voltage protection. So the voltage under 102, this will shut off. So under wow. voltage can damage your stuff. Okay. Just as much as over voltage. Oh, okay. A lot of people don't know that. I did not. I did not know that until <laughs> I started doing research for this. And so it has over voltage protection at 140 volts. It will shut off also. One of the coolest features of this is that it comes with Bluetooth connectivity. Nice. And an app. So you download the app and it gives you so much information about what's going on inside this thing and how much power that you're drawing from each one of these appliances. So it's really cool because you can plug this in and then you can like turn on one thing at a time. That's what I was just about to say. I might actually make a little cheat sheet for myself with- Spreadsheet, baby. Yeah. It's spreadsheet time. So we know exactly how much amps everything we like to use is pulling. So then when I have to do the dance, I know, you know exactly. what I want to turn off in place of turning this on exactly so we're gonna make a power Sweet. usage spreadsheet Yay. and so we'll know exactly what we can pull and and how much power we're using cool so it does track your amp usage which is the really important, important. Yeah. thing it also checks your voltage okay because i talked about the low voltage and the, the high, high voltage, voltage and then yeah. it'll shut off it checks the frequency tells you what megahertz you're running okay. at um, and then it shows uh, the power uses in watts, how many watts that you're using and pulling. And nice. another cool feature that it has, one of the coolest features is it gives you your total power usage. Oh, So okay. if you're in a park that's like charging you for power. Oh, yeah. And then you go to check out and they say you use this much power. And you can go, oh, oh no, 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 look at my app. <laughs> this is how much power that I use. So we're going to put this thing to the test. The first 
test we're going to do is hooked up to the pedestal okay. because there's different settings on the app. And I'm not going to go through all on how to set up and use the app. There's videos for that. We'll leave a link to Active Control's video on how to set up and, and, and run the app and everything in the description. So if you want to learn how to do that, go and watch that video. Okay. Um, but we're going to go outside. We're going to hook this into the pedestal first and then we're going to do some tests on how much stuff. And really our goal is to try to get to two air conditioners, lights, TV. TV. That's the important stuff. And and of course, Scout's lights. Well, yeah. His heat lamps. We have to have lamps. heat for Scout. Yeah. So that's the that's the plan. We're going to do that first with the pedestal. Okay. And then we're going to hook it up to our 3000 watt generator and see if we can get the same productivity okay. out of the generator as we do off the pedestal. Because we if we're boondocking, we'll be using the generator. Exactly. Because sometimes you'll be in places like a harvest host overnight and you will have booked it like you know, three or four months in advance, and yeah. you're like, oh, that's a good time of year. We probably don't need our air conditioners. But then you get there, it's a heat wave, <laughs> and now you're stuck there. And if you don't have something like this, to help. you're just going to sweat, man. Yeah, it won't be as fun. <laughs> so <laughs> you at least want to be able to run <laughs> an air conditioner. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, let's get testing this thing. Let's go. All right, you can see now I have this uh, active start plugged directly into the pedestal on the 30 amp. And then we have our active start dog bones down to our 50 amp hookup and then connect it to the RV. All right, once you got it hooked up outside, go into your app and then you can see like right now, we only have the lights on inside. We don't have the TV on. We don't have any of the air conditioners on. So really the only thing running right now is the lights in the refrigerator. And right now it's pulling two amps. So what we're gonna do is we're going to turn on the TV all right, TV's on, and we are pulling two amps right now. Okay, so we're gonna kick this air conditioner on in the back, back here in the living room. And then we'll keep an eye on our amperage here, see what it does. And our amps jumped up to 10 amps right there, and that's total. So we have the refrigerator, the TV, the lights, and one air conditioner running. And you notice you did not see you didn't see like a big jump on the amperage right there. It kicked it on and it's been sustained at that same amperage. So there was not that big draw that you get if you don't have some kind of a soft start capacitor. So now we're gonna kick on this air conditioner and see what we go up to. Again, you see the amperage go up. The amperage went up to 19 amps right now, but there was not that big tick. You don't see that big tick. It's actually up to 20 now. So between 19 and 20 amps. So we have plenty of power left over. We're at 120 volts. Our frequency is at 60 hertz, which is good. Um, 200, or we're at about 2300 and some change on watts. And of course, uh, we haven't used any energy yet. If any of these parameters get out of whack, that active control will shut it down and shut everything off before any of those problems can actually get into the RV. That thing will take the hit and that thing will fry before it will let anything in the RV get fried up. So looks like we're safe. We can run everything off of a pedestal. So now let's go and hook up the generator and see if we can run all the same stuff with the generator. And we have the Champion Dual Fuel 3400 watt generator, inverter generator, because it's a little more quiet. Now what you want to do is before you change this over from the pedestal to the generator in your app, you want to make sure you change that setting from pedestal to generator because the power that's going in and out of there, the active start needs to know where the power source is and how many watts and amps are coming from the power source. So if you don't switch that, you're not going to get an accurate reading. So what we'll do is we'll switch that in the app and then we're going to fire this up, get it plugged in and see if we can run all the same stuff that we ran on the pedestal. too much. We're definitely safe on that. All right, let's turn the TV on. Two amps. So it needs a UV and a heat lamp. So now it went up to, to three amps. 
here's going to be the big test. Now when we start kicking these air conditioners on, that's going to be the big test. Alright, here we go. Starting in the back. First air conditioner's on. We're up to 10 amps. Just over 1300 watts. Okay, it's blipping kind of between 10 and 11, but still you don't see that big draw. Even with the uh, with the generator, it did it did blip up to 12 for a second there. And let's turn the second air conditioner on. Nope. Didn't go. Overloaded. Man down. Man down. So we can still run off the generator yes we can still run one air conditioner mm -hmm. the tv all the lights and scouts heat lamps yeah which which is enough yeah. for like an overnight dry camping and stuff yes you just can't run two correct well not on our generator not on our generator if you had a bigger generator you probably could but but it's a good thing i'm happy that that happened yeah because we got to test out this guy because it didn't allow anything to overload yeah it killed it from inside this box it didn't mm -hmm. allow any of the badness yep. to get into the rv it Correct. just switched everything off it didn't even pop our breakers nope. inside the rv no, none no, of our breakers popped it, everything happened inside of here yeah so if anything's gonna get popped and be dead it'll, it'll be, be this dead. guy <laughs> so i'm glad that happened yeah. and now we know that what we can run off of off the pedestal versus the generator right. because the pedestal is going to be putting out more more amps than the generator yeah. is and we were running the generator on propane which gives us less watts yeah than if we would be using gasoline that's true if you're using gasoline we might have been able to pull it off but, we're running off ours off propane yeah because on propane ours will do 3060 yeah and on gasoline it'll do 3400 so there is yeah. that difference so I, I'm still happy with that yeah. and I'm happy with all the features and yeah. being able to see all the information, the data. I'm yeah. super excited about creating the spreadsheet yes. to, to let us know what all we can do. Yes. And we'll be able to save you 5% on this thing. Awesome. So we will leave you a link in the description and a promo code down there. So mm -hmm. you plug in that promo code. It doesn't work during any other promotions. So if they're having another sale going on or whatever, just use that. Yeah. Save as much money as you can. Don't use yeah. our stuff. But if, if they're not having any sales, we'll at least be able to Definitely save you 5%. Code. Yeah. So I, I recommend it. I think it's good. It's going to be good to have for those harvest hosts, those overnights, those boondocking, yeah. those parking lot camping. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be doing some driveway surfing here in the near are. future. Yeah. So uh, it'll be it'll be a good thing. Yeah. Anyway, stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping guns help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.